quick disclaimer before the tutorial starts when you do get the capes you'll be the only person to see it just because it acts like a texture pack also the majority of this tutorial will be filmed like this just because i don't have a capture card on my xbox and i'm not able to uh record anything outside of the actual game so i'm just going to be using my phone and recording the screen so bear in mind the quality is probably going to be awful but you should be able to see what i am talking about this video is solely on getting capes on Minecraft Xbox. So if you don't know how to do the regular stuff, um, like if you don't have My Files Explorer or you don't have Microsoft Edge, go to the videos that I linked in the description or literally search up how to um, get texture packs on Xbox because that's going to be pretty much like the starting point of this. Like you need to know that in order to do this video. Um, if I explain it in this video, it would take um, a crap ton of time and there are a lot of other people who've already um, made those type of tutorials that are far better at um, talking about than me. So go check them out and then come and watch this. But yeah, anyways, so first go to Microsoft Edge and then um, what you want to do um, is go to mcpedl.com. Once you have that loaded up, you want to go to the uh, search icon uh press on there and then what you want to do is you want to type in capes and then press uh enter okay once you do that scroll all the way down until you see this i'll also be linking um everything that i'm using in this video anyways uh so uh if you're watching this video on your xbox and microsoft edge just go into the description and you already have a link of this here um, but I'm just showing it you guys now. This is um, the resource, uh, the texture pack that you want. As you can see, it's the custom cape resource pack, 50 plus capes. Um, exactly this one. Okay, so you press A on this. Once you have that loaded up, scroll all the way down to, uh, let's see, downloads. There you go. Go to customcapes.zip because it's just easier that way on Xbox. Um, once you do that, do save as. and then um you press save right here finish downloading um you want to press the home button or the xbox logo on your xbox controller um go to my files explorer uh go to a uh, user uh downloads and then you'll have the zip file just press the three lines and extract it i already have it extracted um and once you do you can i guess delete this um if you want to just like clear up some space but make sure you extract it first obviously three lines on this uh copy um folder uh when i say three lines i mean the button on the controller by the way um uh yeah you press copy on that and then you want to go to either this device or isolated storage i go to this device just because it's like right next to there and but like you're going to the same place anyways because uh as you can see i just pressed isolated storage there um, go up here at the top left that says package, uh, packages, click on that, scroll down to wherever you see Microsoft Minecraft UWP console. Um, it may um, be in a different place. Um, remember, it has to say Minecraft. Um, so just click on that, click local state, games, com.mojang, uh, resource packs, because it is a resource pack. If you have a bunch of texture packs um, already, uh, go to the top, as you can see, um, you kind of see like the little line of the other icons. Make sure your cursor is above there, press the three lines button again, and then um, there'll be paste section here. I didn't actually copy down the other one, um, but uh, obviously there'll be a paste button, and then you just press paste, and it'll, it'll be pasted into here, and it'll look like this. This is the way that I did it. I'm pretty sure there's technically two methods um if you're doing the method with two texture packs but i'm doing uh the way i did it was i combined the actual like cape to the texture pack um so as you can see we have animations entity models render controls um make sure you copy and paste all of these one at a time because you can only do it one at a time um and then paste it into whatever uh pvp texture pack you want it will work for all of them java goi regular ones even ones that for some reason have like the sweat pack um for some reason you have to click on it again to open up the actual thing it works on any um texture pack so uh yeah bear it in mind though 
all of the other Cape tutorials that weren't on Xbox, because it, it also is the same for Xbox. If you have any other um, animated cosmetics or like crit particles, like something like that, um, it'll probably kind of break or something. Like you don't want to combine that with capes. You can only use capes by um, itself. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna um, test it out with the Bedlow Snoop. So as you can see, we already have all of these. I put in the animations, the models, render controls, uh, the entity. And um, by the way, if you already have one of the files in your um, uh, texture pack already, it do uh, don't worry. Uh, all you have to do is actually go into si inside like either one of them. Say I already had entity in one of my texture packs. You just go to the entity here, click on entity, and then just copy and paste um, whatever, I guess, file is an entity into the other one. Um, same goes with animation, models, and render controls. But I don't think you should, like, have any of those other ones. Anyways, so now we go into sub packs. And you can actually, um, there is a crap ton of options um, for you to use. Uh, so um, it, whatever one you want to choose, just press the three lines, copy it and then paste it at the front of the um, texture pack or um, exactly at the same place as these other four ones. You can also put in your custom ones, just find a file that you, you like Kate, that you're probably never ever gonna use. I mean, there's a lot of options. Say like AFK, I don't think I'm ever gonna be using this Kate. Just uh, go all the way in, you see the custom.png, just delete this, port in your custom, I guess, Kate file, rename it custom.png and then just paste it into here and then that's pretty much it um so once you do actually have it like i said copy it um paste it at the front um i or i already did it with the bedless noob 200k so i'm gonna be um this is the bed one as you can see if i go inside of it fully um that is the bed cape um png um so what you want to do now uh is go back into the bed um you have the textures file here you want to cop uh not not move sorry sorry um you want to press copy uh there you go and then what you want to do is you want to go to um textures um you back down and you go to textures you go above all the folders to where your cursor is right there you press the three lines and then you click paste and then um that will paste textures um and the texture file into um here and then you click on it again, uh, you copy entity, you back out, and then uh, do the exact same thing you did with textures. And then you should have it right here. And that is pretty much it. That was my method of doing it. You may or may not need all of those files because I tinkered around with this and this is the way that I found that was fixed. There may be like steps that you don't have to take, but to be safe, just do the steps anyways. That's my method of getting uh, texture packs on Xbox. Obviously, you also need the manifest.json, um, which if you have been using texture packs like on servers, like on the Hive or something, then you should prob you probably already have it. Um, but like I said, just in case, I'm putting it down in the description. The, um, the Bedless Noob one. I, I already deleted mine actually, but there should be a manifest.json here. You delete that. And then you just paste in the new manifest.json and um that's how it all pretty much works if you guys are at all confused make sure to put that in the comments below i will reply as quickly as i can this is my first tutorial so i'm not really good at explaining stuff that good yet but i hope you guys enjoy i hope it does work for you if you do try this out and i'll see you guys in the next video i know i said that this uh that the next video from the last video was supposed to be a montage but a lot of people were asking um how did i get capes so i was like you know what why not let's just make the tutorial first and then others will follow